Hi, so I want to put an end plate connection on this here at the angle. Now, obviously these plates don't look great, but this is the way they want to do them. They don't want to have to do the skewed plates. They might change their mind. So I just worried about the plate on the top for the decking. So if we go into the connections and if you want to do, uh, let's go in here, end plate pick an end plate you have to put this in by the angle so so what we would need to do is set our UCS which it's already set but set it to this here and then draw a line from the center point here up to here and then go back to the world UCS L set the center here and now we'll go up here and select the angle and we'll check our angle and our angle is 35.7 so we'll check our angle is 35.7 so what we're going to do now is we can open this and we can do 35.7 in here So you can see it's a little above where I need to be on the system line. So if you click on it again and do the layout from center, from edge, they don't make any difference to that. So I find that this is not as accurate as doing it the other way. So I can delete this and then go back into our connections and do a base plate connection instead. Um, just make sure you set your UCS to the angle you want. So go back here and uh, set your UCS to this angle. And now come back in here, do base plate, select this. Do you want additional concrete objects? No. You can't see it because it's on the other end of the post. It'll try to reference the lower end every time, obviously. So what I can do is base plate, switch beam ends, and then do anchors. I want to do zero anchors, plate layout. I want it to be 0.25. And the dimensions of the projections is zero. And then go back to the base plate and do horizontal because I have the UCS set. And now that'll come in the way I want it. So that's useful. The only thing I would be weary of is your plate. So if I click on the plate now, naming, you'll see that it's named as a base plate. So what I can do is go back in here, library, save it, and edit. Just name it whenever you want. Close that out, delete that. And then you'd have to change this name. So I don't know if it's worth the trouble, but uh, I don't know if it's worth the trouble to do that. But I I usually do it this way once there's not too many of them. I uh, hope that helps.